All right, welcome. GH here. I am going to compare all of the open art text to video models so that you don't have to. All right, so inside of open art, there are a lot of different models to choose from. Today, we're trying to do an apples to apples comparison of every text to video model currently within open art. Every model kind of uses a different number of credits and gives you different options. And so we're gonna put them all to the test side by side with the same prompt and see what the results are. We are going to make a prompt. Yeah, we gotta start out with a prompt. Let's go open chat GPT. We're gonna go with something a little bit complex just to see what the varying um, results are. We're not gonna be super specific. So I'm going for kind of a man on the street vibe. Create a text to video prompt man on the street style interview clip of a man and woman talking with a camera, a hectic nightlife environment. I think I could be even more specific than I am with this prompt uh, here, but I'm hoping by leaving it a little open-ended, it'll highlight some of the differences between the models. All right, so now we're gonna take this prompt and go back to open art. Boom, open art. We're gonna do text to video today. Model, text to video test one. We are doing C dance 1.0. Paste in the prompt. We are, we're gonna auto enhance the prompt. We're not gonna do sound or speech. So we're sticking with 1080p. We're trying to keep it apples to apples. Okay. So 250 for a, a light five second video. 400 for a pro five second video. And 800 for a pro 10 second video. All right, so C dance light. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't see a whole lot with it other than the physics are just a little bit weird, but pretty solid. C Dance Pro. I'd say visually pretty awesome, except for uh, this car driving on the sidewalk back here. Yeah, that's a little weird. So now we are going to Cling 2.1. Same thing, we're going five seconds, keeping it vertical. Here you have a little less options. Golly, so this is, so 500 credits for a five second video, 1000 credits for a 10 second video. Using auto sound and auto speech adds about 10 credits each. We're not gonna do that today. Clean 2.1, let's see it. Let's see what that, oh, 500 credits got me, man. Okay, that's actually pretty, Good golly. It does look like it's a horizontal version that they cropped in. It's actually pretty accurate. Okay. Very close to them. This is a very, very high quality AI video right here. Um, I don't see anything, nothing weird really going on. They just seem to have, it's pretty photorealistic, I would say. For Juan 2.2, we have 100 credits for a light video and 150 credits for a pro video. All right, so same thing. We're going to go vertical, the highest resolution, and we're going to go pro. Wow, so this one's only 150 credits. All right, so it definitely has a little bit of a lower frame rate vibe. It's pretty good, though. Pretty good. Much cheaper not a whole lot worse it is worse though but it's not a whole lot worse but overall pretty solid other than the low frame rate does kind of get make it look weird and i'm not quite sure what's supposed to be going on back here and we'll go light too just to see what the so the very cheapest option is 100 credits the resolution does not affect the cost for one 2.2 it's just the um light versus pro so light is only 100 credits. She's got some weird stuff going on with her hand, but definitely not as good. Sort of a lower quality image. Looks like it was filmed on an old phone. 
VO3. All right, wow. So VO3, super expensive. Do audio off. Um, the fast version is 500 credits and the normal version is 1200 credits. With audio, that bumps up to, we have 800 credits and 1500 credits using the normal version. VO3 fast, 500 credits, ouch. That is very expensive. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it, golly, 1200 credits. There's no way, there's no way this is worth it. Definitely hurts. We're doing it for you. For you, I will spend the credits, okay? We're doing it for science. And we're gonna see if there's a difference. So that's pretty good. Not gonna lie. So this one doesn't have the vertical mode as an option, but that is pretty good. That is pretty good. Like I can tell it's an AI video, but only because I, if I look really hard at it, like if you're not really paying attention, that looks real. Yeah, very, very photorealistic. All right, and so now we have Minimax Halo O2. For a six second video, it's 300 credits. And for a 10 second video, it's 600 credits. The cheapest option for Halo Minimax is 150 credits for six seconds. Pretty darn good. I don't really see anything wrong with that other than like maybe you would count this as a little like weird in the text in the background. On first glance without looking too closely, very, very good. For Pixverse 5, for a five second video, we have 300 credits and an eight second video, 300 credits as well. The turbo five second video is 150. And a turbo eight second video, it's 300. Let's see what that looks like. Um, pretty low quality, but we knew that we did turbo. The physics seem generally normal, although it's kind of weird that there would be like walking like that, but. And now we will also do the full resolution for comparison purposes. Wow, 1080p actually does a lot. A little weird stuff in the signs, but otherwise visually pretty good. Physics seem normal, so that, that's pretty good. Vidu Q1, it is 300 credits. We definitely burning through these credits today, man. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm not one of those YouTuber people that likes to talk to the camera, so. All right, Vidu Q. Uh, this one's got some weird camera stuff going on, man. I'm not really a fan. Yeah, this one was not very good. What the hell is all this going on? Weird dynamics. This one, physics are pretty horrible on this one. They're walking horizontal across the frame and then now they're walking away from the camera, basically. Physics are weird. Pika 2.2 for a five second video, it's 300 credits. And a 10 second video is 600 credits. So the cheapest option with Pika 2.2 is 720, five seconds, and that's 150 credits. When you bump it up to 1080, that jumps up to 300 credits. And for 10 seconds, it is 600 credits. Golly. We're going five seconds at 1080. All right, Pika 2.2. Yeah, this one's not great. Pretty weird physics as well. All right, for Hunyan, it is 200 credits. We're not really worried about anything less than 1080p if 720 is the max or the highest quality. Anything less than 720p is pretty much not worth using. 
anything really less than 1080p but if the 720 is the highest option that's what we're going to use yeah so that's 200 credits finally done let's see how this looks it's okay but her hand the hands ruin it man unusable the hands aside though it's pretty good i like the soft lighting vibe but yeah the hands no good at all for vo2 it is 350 credits for five seconds and 500 credits for eight seconds we're gonna go with five Dang, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah, natural movements, nothing really too weird going on. Natural movements in the background. Very good VO2. For Kling 1.6, the creativity level, it doesn't affect the price, but um, so maybe we'll, we will try a low and a high one for that. A five second video is 150 credits and a 10 second video is 300 credits. Let's just real quick see what the difference is between low and high creativity. So we start with low creativity to high creativity. So first of all, low creativity, actually pretty great. Nice soft lighting, relatively normal physics, I think. Except I'm not quite sure what's going on with these cars in the background. These people look fine. Now, high creativity. Uh, what the f <laughs> I have no idea what I'm looking at. I don't think this hit the prompt at all. It's okay. It's not the best, not the worst. Something is just a little unnatural here, but it's actually like that uncanny valley. I, I think there's nothing really leaping out at me as wrong or bad, but just does have a little bit of an AI vibe to it for sure. Hilu standard is 150 credits. We only have one option, 150 credits. <laughs> Same thing as the last one, definitely like a little weird, a little trippy. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what's wrong with it other than it's like a little just warped or something. And whatever this vehicle in the background, I'm not really sure. Then Juan 2.1, oh, the only, yeah, 150 credits. Juan 2.1. All right, Juan 2.1, let's see how it did. Yeah, that's kind of like no good. <laughs> it's in fast motion for some reason. We don't really know why. The actual image is not bad though, but the physics of it are kind of throwing it off. Kind of makes that one not usable. So after looking at all of these side by side, I do think the best videos came from Kling 2.1 and VO3. It did seem like the most expensive models did produce the best videos that said i think the best bang for your buck comes from either vo3 fast or cling 2.1 the best cheaper option probably was looks to me like mini max hilu o2 at just 300 credits or pixverse 5 1080p which is also 300 credits let me know if you've experienced different results or if you have one that you prefer if you try any of these, let me know which one is your favorite, which one you get the best results with. All right, so that cost me a lot of credits. So please subscribe and like and all that share. Get the PDF. I put it in the comments. I'm pretty sure if future me is using his noggin, there will be a link to a PDF in the description. So you can actually have a comparison to look at and weigh which one of these you want to use. But um. Until then, see you in the next one. Adios. Get out of here. Go watch another video.